everybody and welcome to uh, another tutorial in After Effects and in this tutorial I'll be going over color correction because people most likely what color correction is is like changing the way your scene looks and adding a more brightness or darkness or whatever you need to your scene or image or whatever and okay so what we're gonna first do is drop this video clip which I have what well, you could use an image if you'd like but uh, you should use Photoshop if you have it but so it doesn't really matter, but okay. So first, we're gonna do is go to color. I mean, effects. Then go down to color correction. And usually, I would add a curves first, but you could use any of these other options if you know what they are. But if you don't, just skip that and follow the way I do it because you're watching the tour, aren't you? So you c what this RGB level does is just change the way it is. Like if you wanted to be brighter or darker down here, like if you want a scene to be dark like this. And then if you change it to a different type of red, you can make the reds come up. If you want like this, some, I don't know, red scene, I don't know what you would use it for, but I don't know, maybe if it's like a dark scene, just mix the red and the blue and it'll make it a nice color. So let's put it right down here. And you could also change the greens if you'd like, make a nice effect. Uh, you could also add a blue, which is a nice yellow. So it kind of looks like it's like it's getting dark and the sun's setting or something like that. Or it's like one of those movies that has like a, there's a war going on. And uh, it's usually like one of those movies where the American flag's like all torn up and everything like that. I forgot what movie that would have been from. And next what you want to add is an exposure. And what the exposure does is just basically bring up of what the effect of you've done and brighten it up a little bit. Or if you want, you could still lower it. Like, if you think you have too much, just lower it down. Or bring it up like a bright exposure, but just not too much because you would ruin your whole footage. And the offsetting is just the brightness of it, so we won't mess with that. And the gamma correction, I don't really use that either, so we'll, we'll forget about that. And let's see, what else could we add to this? We could add a tint if you'd like, but let's see what we could do this. The amount of tint is where it's like darker, as you can see, look at what I'm doing. If you bring it up, then it'll go to black and white and a little bit of color, as you can see. And if you also, if you guys like, you could do this, set a keyframe here, and then move your time slider a little to a few frames, and then bring it all the way down to zero. And then you could do like one of those scenes coming from a... Uh, fade in from black to color, black and white to color, as you can tell. That's how you would do it if you'd like to use the animation way. So, all you do is just do the, what I just said, and then you get this cool effect like this. And then, that's basically for that. I actually like to see what I just did now. Okay, so, there's many other ways you can make it better. Like, see, there's black and white if you'd like. Brightness and contrast is what you might want to add also, because this is a brightness, depending on how bright you want it to be, or a dark scene, I want it to be dark, so bring it down a bit, but not too much, so it's okay, and the contrast, it's not so, you, you don't really need to know what it is, but <clears throat> you can actually see what it's doing, so whatever way you'd like it to look, then you obviously get what you want. So what you could have if you did like what the transition thing, you could have like a black transition from from like a text scene or something. And like if you're showing this is like the beginning of the movie and somebody's narrating and then it comes all the way up to color. Saying some guy's narrating saying and the war has passed and stuff something like that, I don't know. But it would look pretty good. And that should be basically it, what you could do. You could do add a hue and saturation. That ain't too bad either, but see, you can change the way it looks. So you change weird colors like that. It looks kind of looks disgusting, actually. But so you can change it to like this. This looks pretty sweet now. Don't do it. Do it over it like this. This looks pretty sweet. Right about here. That's sweet. It like makes the red and the white and blue not the blue so much, but it makes the red and white pop out. Everything else is like soloed out. That's pretty sweet, actually.
and you could change up all these settings like change the background like all the whites and stuff like that or you could just change the lightness and I don't want to so yeah so that's basically it and if you'd like to edit your project just add any effect like you want so like if you want to add like I don't know let's say maybe you would like to add a little crack here like it's all destroyed and everything like one of those warm movies I was talking about before then yeah you can make it do that but this is just a color correction tutorial so that's basically it I hope this helped because this is basically what gives you more freedom to edit your videos and show you what you can do without actually taking it with a good camera because the camera I use is a flip ultra HD camera which is I know is not that good but it's okay but you can really customize the way you want your video quality to look like. not your video quality but you know you know what I mean like the way it looks the color also if you shoot with a uh, lower camera quality on DSLRs and all that because I know you can customize your settings and stuff like that then you can custom I mean yeah then you can customize it more in Adobe After Effects and your effects will be even better because then you can have more you have more f f powerful usage of the color correction so yeah guys I hope this helped anybody out who needed a tutorial on color correction and just hope it helped you guys so if it helped you, please tell me in the comments it helped, or if you want to give me a tutorial suggestion, just put it down in the description box, and I'll be sure to make one, and yeah. And so I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay subscribed, and I'll see you guys next video.